Hi guys, I'm Paul Ecke here at uh, Zulu Tattoo in Los Angeles and I'm going to be talking uh, with uh, Zulu. How are you doing? Doing real well. And you, Paul? Really great, great. You know, uh, we met, what, a, several months ago, six months ago? Yeah, about and, six months ago. And I actually uh, um, first found you in a book at, at the Bowers Art Museum in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. And it's actually in this book, uh, The Black Tattoo Artist uh, by Marissa. And I saw a model that you had painted. I th thought it was the patterning on his body was so fascinating to me. Oh, you're speaking of John Romeo. John Romeo, exactly, which yeah. we'll be talking with later today. Yeah, amazing guy, and it was really wonderful working with him. You know, Zulu, I'm getting ready for the show at uh, Gebert Gallery in Venice Beach, and uh, you're one of the tattoo artists that uh, will be present because of John, uh, who you tattooed. Um, he was one of the unique ones that I, I, I found and chose to do. I, I find it really interesting that uh, the work is based on part of my canvas, which is the human body, and they want a painting, right. and your canvas is canvas, and you're working the human body. Right. I, I love the crossover that's happening, and especially with a guy like John, who I consider one of my best pieces. Actually, I'm really honored, and I'm really excited that the public is going to see uh, through your work being a renowned artist, it actually helps the tattoo community uh, and the world will see that we are a viable fine art. Uh, how did you meet John? Well, actually, I'm glad you picked John Romeo. He's a really special client of mine. He came to me and he was looking for some sacred spiritual marks and he was going through different transitions in his life at the, at the time and he wanted something to reflect that. So uh, we sat and checked out some different books, different drawings, but then he decided he wanted me to come up with something specific for him, which is what we usually specialize in. And uh, we went on a little journey with John and it ended up in his body mark. Tell me about this journey with John and how it uh, developed into his current tattoo. It was a process. It took a matter of years to really? complete him. Really? Because he has a, a mix of modern, he is what we call a modern primitive, oh. uh, especially his tattoo style, because he has a lot of Northwest Coast Haida Native American work, but he also has some of my uh, modern uh, tribal work mixed in. But then uh, tattooing is very much like a, a story of your life. So we add pieces to him, but every time we add, we don't want to interrupt what was already there. We wanted it to be a continuation, just like you said in your painting series. It's continuation. We want the same thing on the body. So it has to complement and flow. And whenever we'd come back uh, over a period of months, we would just continue where we left off. Well, Zulu, tell me about how you feel about participating in this upcoming show at the Gebert Gallery. When I uh, saw your work, particularly your uh, Men Behind Bars Men series, Behind Gates. Uh, Men Behind I mean, uh, Gates. So Bars is good, as, <laughs> is good too, because that's basically what they are. Uh, I guess that's my interpretation <laughs> of it, but I, uh, uh, I really enjoyed that, and that's why I, I, it resonated with me when you wanted to do the tattooing thing, because so many tattooed people have to live behind gates right. you know they can't show their stuff in a uh, job or workplace or certain kind of conservative situations so it was interesting that we both kind of tapped to, into that right. in, in both of our art forms so that's why I knew it would be a good match